Hello, I'm Sean from the Burp Suite desktop development team. Today I'm here to tell you about a new way to customize Burp and make it do things that you want it to do. You have always been able to customize Burp using the Montoya or the Wiener API to create an extension. <clears throat> Extensions are very powerful, but they require you to know quite a lot of Java and also how to build Java systems using either Maven or Gradle. So we have at added the ability for you to write a mini extension at the point you need it directly in Burp. We are calling these mini extensions BAMDAs. If you are comfortable with JavaScript, I think you'll find BAMDAs quite straightforward. Let's switch over to Burp for a demo. Okay. Uh, we get a lot of feature requests to enhance the proxy filter, as you can see here. Everything from show me like 202 status codes to I want to see everything with a mismatch content length. So we thought this would be the perfect place to introduce BAMDAs. So here's our first BAMDA. The idea is simple. You write a function that decides what shows up in your history. You return true, and the item appears. So I've had apply, that shows all the history items. And you return false, do not show in history. So this will hide all the history items. How this works is every item is represented by this variable, the request response, and we can make decisions on whether to show it or not. So if we go back to our status code 202 example, I'll quickly show you how it's done. So we have a request response which represents a row in the history item. As you can see, there's lots of autocomplete um, to help you out. So we want to see if the response has a status code of 202. And it's as simple as that. We hit apply, and this is the only response with the status code 202. Now, <coughs> most of you are thinking you could have done this using regular expressions. And you are right, we could have. But we can. this is really powerful. So I have a BAMDA that I wrote here earlier that I'll explain. Uh, let me just minimize that. So here's the a BAMDA that shows you mismatch content length. So what I've done in this BAMDA is I've assigned the response to a variable. I'm not interested in any responses that don't have a content length, so I just return false for all of those guys. Then I pass the response's header for the content length, read it into a variable. I get the actual content length of the response, and then if they aren't equal, I basically show it. So if I apply, this will find our Basically, our requests and responses without with invalid content length. So that's BAMDAs in a nutshell. The point here is to make your life easier by offering a quicker way to customize your filter right where you need it. If you have any thoughts or ideas on this, especially where you'd like to see BAMDAs, leave some feedback. Cheers.